let's drag the jogger all the way back to the beginning and we have these couple of seconds of dead space. Now while in Photoshop we can't actually trim the video, we can't go in and remove frames, what we can do is introduce new artwork. So let's go back to the operating system and in the section 9 folder let's grab the file called logoglint.psd. Let's double click that. So this is nothing more than just a logo layer and a little gradient highlight I'm going to hold the command key and select both the logo and glint layers and I'm going to drag and drop them right into our Photoshop file. Let me zoom out here. I'm going to move these to the top so they're above the adjustment layers. The first thing I'm going to do is select the glint layer, go to the layer menu, and we're going to choose create a clipping mask. I want to clip group in this shape I get my move tool so that when I move this shape back and forth it's completely masked within the logo layer itself. Hold the command key, I'm going to select both layers. I'm going to move these down into the lower right hand corner. You'll notice in the animation panel I have both of these layers in here. Let's open up the logo and the glint layer. If the glint layer has the position turned on, let's temporarily turn that off by clicking the stopwatch. So we want to have all of the stopwatches not activated for these two layers. Make sure the playhead is at the very beginning, and we're going to turn on positioning for the glint layer and opacity for the logo layer. When I click on these stopwatches, I get these keyframes here, very much like the keyframes we saw happening inside of uh, Flash earlier. I'm going to select the glint layer, I'm going to select the move tool, and I'm going to move the glint layer all the way to the left so I can't see it. I'm going to move the playhead a couple seconds in. At about three seconds the video is fully in place, so I'm going to come back to about one and a half seconds. About right here. The glint layer is still selected. I have the move tool selected. I'm simply going to just move the glint layer all the way to the right hand side. Now notice I didn't have to do anything to tell Photoshop to make a keyframe. It makes one automatically. So now if I jog the timeline, I'll see I have this animation that sort of plays across the screen, or plays across the logo. I'm going to go out to this frame here. I'm going to come over to the opacity. I'm going to click this box here, which is going to add a second keyframe. Now the opacity hasn't changed, but I want a second keyframe because I want the duration of the opacity for the logo to be 100% for this 1.05 frames. I'm going to move out here to about this frame here. With the logo layer selected, I'm simply going to go into the layer menu, bring the opacity down. Photoshop, since it's paying attention to opacity on the logo layer, will automatically make a keyframe. Now when I click and drag, I have the glint running across the logo, and the logo fading away right into the video.